Hey everybody and welcome to Danica Marie and our dope discussions. Now today we're going to be talking about three ways women try to crawl back into your life. Okay. Now we already had a dope discussion and we talked about women trying to come crawling back. Right. But today I want to go over the ways in which they will try to do that. Right. So before we get started, y'all like the video, share the video, subscribe, and let's go ahead and get started with number one. Okay, so the first way that a woman will try to crawl back into your life is through sympathy. Now, hear me out, okay? When a female regrets leaving you, she sees that you're doing better without her. She sees that you're prospering. She sees that you're elevating, you're evolving, you're growing. She starts to think to herself like, damn, how can I get back in? How can I get this guy to accept me back into his circle? Well, I'll make him feel sorry for me. I'll whine and cry and beg even if I have to. And the thing about this is a lot of females uh, really try to play on the heartstrings of men because we know that it is in your nature as a man to try to resolve our issues, right? To try to uplift us, to try to help. So a lot of these females try to play on that element of what a man is, and they'll do that by way of making you feel sorry for her. So she'll come up with a million and five sob stories. Woe is me. You know, I had no uh, dealings in this. It was not my fault. Life just keeps happening to me. And I'm, I just have this bad luck. I would just love to have a man like you to come through and save me, to come through and rescue me. Right. And if you're not careful and you're not peeping game on this tactic of making you feel sorry for her or deliver some kind of sympathy towards her, you know, you can fall into that trap. You can fall into the whirlwind of trying to pick her up, polish her up, help her, save her. And before you know it, she's back into your life and ultimately just using you up. Okay. Now I have got to make this disclaimer. When you're dealing with females like this that rejected you or left you or abandoned you or thought the grass was greener somewhere somewhere else, you got to understand the type of woman that you're dealing with. This is not a genuine type of female. This is an opportunist. This is a user. This is a grade A finesser. So she's not somebody that you should go out of your way to help, go out of your way to assist. No. As a matter of fact, that's why she left you in the first place. She left you in the first place because she thought it would be somebody else better out there for her that would be able to do more for her than you could. Okay? So guys, be very careful with falling for the sympathy trick. Again, she'll talk about how her life is so hard. Um, she'll even go as far as trying to stroke your ego by saying, oh, you know, my life would have never been this bad had I had you be a part of my life, right? That they're really going to try to play on your heartstrings and on top of that, your ego. And we're going to get into that because that is the next thing on our list as far as a way that a woman will try to crawl back into your life. Now, you guys, I want you to be very careful when you see your exes or females that once again abandoned you, rejected you, all of that, be very careful when they start giving you this excessive praise, right? That is the second thing on our list as far as a way a woman will try to crawl back into your life. She will bombard you with all of this praise, all of this love, and what she's trying to do is get you buttered up, okay? If I can butter him up enough, I can definitely and for sure 
allow him to allow me to come be a part of his equation again. Okay. Hear me out. I know a lot of y'all out there have probably gone through this. Okay. To where it was like, oh man, she was so nice to me. And she, she, she complimented me and she was telling me how proud of me she was. And yeah, you know, I, I think she did change. I think she is a woman that has learned her lesson and she's a woman that would appreciate a man like me now. Be careful. Be careful. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. It's your little big sis. A lot of females know that when it comes to a man, stroking your ego, making you feel excessively good about yourself, that is a way to, again, get into your good graces. This is why those same females that left will then come crawling back telling you um, how proud of you she is, telling you how much you've grown, you've blossomed, how good you look, how good you're doing. Again, this is to butter you up so I can get back in. This is to soften you up so that you can let your guard down and I can come back and see your life. And again, when we're talking about women like this, you guys, these are the females that you need to steer clear of. She's fake. What, you got to ask yourself, would she want to be bothered with you if you were not on the up and up? Would she want to be bothered with you if her life was not diminishing? Would she want to be bothered with you if the guys that she was entertaining over you panned out and worked out in her favor? Probably not. Right? So be careful with that chick. Especially when in the beginning, all she did was ignore you or play you to the left or just give you bare minimum interaction. You got to know this shit after that is fake. Excuse my language. It's fake. You know? So be careful with the excessive praise. That is a way that a lot of these females try to come crawling back into your life, making you feel so good that you let your guard down and you accept her back in because you don't see her as a threat. You see her as somebody that is uh, loving, nurturing, kind-hearted, good-natured. And so then, again, you'll be more likely to accept her back in. But be careful. These chicks will definitely play on your ego. All right. But with that being said, you guys, let's move it along to the last and final thing on our list as a way that women will try to crawl back into your life. Now, you guys, although this list is in no particular order, I do want to acknowledge the fact that this last reason on our list, as far as the way women try to crawl back into your life, is one of the biggest tactics, ways that women will try to slither back in. And that way is through your close friends and family. As a matter of fact, I, I know without a shadow of a doubt that this reason right here is one of the biggest ways a woman tried to come call it back. I'm going to ask you guys right now. To put a one in the chat, if you ever had a female try to get back in good with you through your friends or your family, put a one in the chat. I bet I see a million and five ones. Because this is the ultimate way a lot of women try to crawl back into your life. Since I can't reach you or get in with you, I'll hit up your sister. Because your sister, we used to be cool. I'll hit up your best friend. Because me and your best friend, we had a good little rapport. 
you know? So I'll try to be buddy-buddy with your sister, your best friend. I'll call your mama, your cousin, whatever, whoever that I feel is in close proximity to you. That way, you have no choice but to hear about me. Because your, your best friend's going to say, hey, you know, you know who I ran into the other day? Yeah, old girl, such and such. Yeah, and she seems to be doing this, and she seems to be doing that, and she did ask about you. No, nah, she seems real cool. And and if I'm acting cool enough with your close friends and family, they're going to put in good words for me. And they're going to get you to inquire about what's going on with me. And if they say enough good things about me, you'll more than likely, once again, be buttered up enough and intrigued enough to maybe hit me up. Because after all, you're hearing all these great things. This is why, I'm going to go ahead and say this, and a lot of people can say that this is petty and all of that, you know, what happened in your previous relationship has nothing to do with your family, nothing to do with your friends. Like, if we still cool, it is what it is. It's not my fault. It didn't work out with y'all. And to a certain extent, I can agree with that and I, I feel that. But this is why you got to be very careful um, with allowing people to still associate and affiliate with people that are not people that you really are fond of, especially an ex, right? If somebody is an ex or somebody is a, a character to where they were not checking for you or they were not really down for you like that, you got to let your friends and family know like, hey, if you deal with that person, you deal with them on your own. I don't want to hear about them. Uh, I would I honestly appreciate if you did not entertain them as well within the day we're grown. But if y'all have any interactions, I don't want to hear about it. Don't invite me. I don't want to be around. Like you got to really set those boundaries because people will try to um, get in good by way of people that are the closest to you. So it's very important that if something bothers you enough, if something affects you enough, you have got to let your close family and friends know, you know, certain limitations. You got to set your boundaries. You got to have your guards in place because you don't want somebody to put you in a situation or in a position to where you feel uncomfortable um, or you feel disrespected, you, you feel slighted, you, you feel caught off guard, you know, or it's just something that you just don't want to be a part of. Even if you're indifferent to it. So where it's like, you know what? This person is not somebody I want to kick it with, but hey, I really wouldn't want to be bothered with them either. Like, even if it's a position of it is what it is, okay? You still want to let people know, hey, I would appreciate it if I did not. If you did not. Don't relay messages back to me. Again, it's no hard feelings towards that person. I'm indifferent. I, I don't really care for that person, but at the same time, I don't have any hard feelings towards that person. I would just prefer not to be bothered with that person. Let people know that. That way, they don't come carrying bones back to you. They don't come back delivering messages to you that you don't give a damn about. Like I don't care uh, to hear that. I don't care to know that, right? So boundaries must be set because these females will try to use these tactics to crawl and weasel back in to your, your good graces, all right? But y'all let me know your thoughts, your feelings, your opinions. Do you agree? Do you disagree? And also list some ways that you feel a lot of females try to come crawling back into your life, okay? Let us know your uh, thoughts and your uh, feelings and your positions on this. Because a lot of you guys probably could relate to what I brought up, you know, as far as females trying to use sympathy or uh, trying to 
give you all of these great compliments and praise or even trying to use your family and friends to get back in with you all right but y'all let me know y'all like the video share the video subscribe and i will see you all in the next dope discussion <laughs>